one of the reasons why I think that, that our society is, is fearful from a PC standpoint of watching what they say because, well, maybe I'll lose my fucking job. Like, I think 90% of that, honestly, is fucking manufactured. And the reason I say it's manufactured is that, you know, not to get too fucking John Brown or, or you know, live off the land like uh, extremist on you. But but the fact is, is that most of our standard of, of living is is manufactured. I mean, it's it's not required. Yes, it's comfortable, myself included. Like, do I like to be able to run the air conditioning? Well, fuck yeah, I do. Uh, do I like to have a refrigerator full of fresh groceries? Bet your fucking ass I do. Uh, but, you know, I, I think where where you run into problems is is that people you know between the way that it's kind of force fed societally and and from a culture standpoint is that uh it, it's valued to a point where they think that their life depends on being comfortable and and it fucking doesn't you know uh so there there's a difference between being able to eat and being comfortable and i think that's the distinguishing factor is that people aren't willing to say what's on their mind because they want to stay fucking comfortable not that they want to survive because you can survive in some fucking shit without mm. being comfortable uh and so to me that that's the first part is that is that it's the mentality that that sets you up for failure right out of the gate so if you're going into it with that mentality like there there isn't a way to not be politically correct to not tow the fucking company line to maintain that that level of of comfort not necessity you know and and so like I said, if you're going into it with that mentality, then then you're fucked to begin with. Now, if you can ditch that and say, you know what, I don't give a fuck. I'll live out of my goddamn vehicle if need be. I'm going to mm-hmm. speak my fucking mind. To me, like, what's more important to you? You know, uh, I've been very fortunate in that, in that, you know, I'm at a point where, without a doubt, I can I can say way more of whatever the fuck I want and it not have a detriment because I think I'm at this point people expect me to say those things. And, and so not only, I mean, the, the corporate sponsors that don't want to touch me fuck them anyway uh there's 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 plenty of people that give enough of a shit or or want to know what what the common man thinks and what they have to say to where they are willing to hear it but to me like i just don't give a shit i mean if if all of this went away tomorrow guess what i'd still survive i'd still tell people to go fuck themselves and, and i'd still enjoy myself like if i was stringing a fucking hammock up like i i would find the joy in in nature and and do what i had to do uh, to survive and, and still fucking make it work. So to me, the, 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 the only real, um, two part pronged offered advice I can give somebody is to, is to one ditch the societal fucking mentality of, of what life has to be Mm -hmm. number one. And then number two is there's a certain level of, of freedom and, and liberation in not giving a fuck. Um, and I can tell you that firsthand is that, you know, a lot of people say they don't give a fuck, but when it, when it boils down to it, they do. Um, or, or they give enough of a fuck not to really fucking say whatever's on their mind. And, and the minute you do that, you know, the minute you, you take control over your own emotions and not let anybody else impact, affect, or control them, uh, is when you, in my opinion, you really start to fucking live and you can truly be happy because you you dictate that shit. Like if you can't make yourself happy first, nobody else is going to be able to. So are you happy? I'm, I, I could not be happier. How long did it take you to get there? Uh, about 39 fucking years. No, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, most of it, not, frankly. I mean, like, you know, starting the podcast in, in the last couple of years is when I've really kind of figured that out, yeah. you know. And, and to me, it pains me to see, you know, so many people, um, you know, working so hard to go after things oh. that uh, that don't fucking mean anything like yeah i, I like nice I things it. but i don't need them i mean i live it man i, yeah. mean, you're, I mean you're talking about me i mean look no bullshit aside yeah. right like you, you're talking about me i guarantee you from one person some somebody who helps pay my bills mm-hmm. who i work for will call me over this podcast yeah you know what i mean yeah. like uh, somebody will so the, the beauty of, of of the way i have my shit set up is nobody will call me over mine because I, I don't work for anybody yeah. you know I don't. I, I yeah. answer to absolutely. I own everything myself, a hundred fucking percent outright. I, I answer to absolutely fucking that, nobody. See, that's, a, that's a, I, a, not even a wife anymore. You know, so that, <laughs> fucking, that's a great way to live. Yeah, like I don't. I don't check in with anybody. Nobody fucking tells me what to do. And and the the, the feel like is that realistic for everybody? No. Uh, but if if that's how you want to live, like it should be a goal though. I, I agree. Uh, but if, if it is, like you've got to decide. Just like you know, your question knives is that you know you've got to pick. You know, like you can't have both. Like you can't be super comfortable and in that comfort zone and and have somebody taking care of you every two weeks 
and still not give a fuck and, and, you know, swim upstream. Like you got to decide which one's more important. Is it, is it more important for me to be secure and comfortable or is it more important for me to fucking ha- have the freedom and liberty that, that, that I want to do whatever the fuck I truly want. And, and then that's going to drive how you actually get there. No different than a business plan or training a dog or any fucking thing else is, is you decide what is it that I want? That that's where I'm going. Here's where I'm at. How am I going to get there? You know, and, and a to B is that fucking process, but you are the man <laughs> yeah the revolutionary maybe i don't know but mike you are the man well, i appreciate it i uh for coming from you i'll take that as a big goddamn no problem. listen but, man i mean I, i'm gonna tell you like uh, you know i always get more out of these podcasts than the, than the guests do i mean it's always i mean i do the podcast for me like i do the yeah. podcast to to be able to go and get and hear and cre- like i mean just pieces like that man i mean like, like i'm gonna tell you something i need to fucking hear that well, I mean, I, I needed to hear it. So I'll, maybe I'll call you more often and I'll get some more, some more knowledge. Uh, but listen, man, I, I appreciate you coming on. Oh shit. I, pleasure I, I pleasure being you, there. I, yeah. I, I, I had a great time. I, um, we're, we're going to get you up in the hot seat here in the next couple I'm months. I'm in. You know what? Yeah. You can throw any question you want. Right. You ain't going to ask me a question I want to answer. <laughs> All right. You can ask me whatever you, you hear me right now. Yeah. Ask me whatever I you want to ask me. Here's the good news. You know I will. I, I know. I'm going ahead and saying that because yeah. I already know it's going to happen anyway. Yeah. So I, yeah. I got to try to act tough, all right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Fair uh, enough. That's good, man. Well, I appreciate yeah. it. Thanks so much, man. Uh, my pleasure.